morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. How to be happy in life. Number one, strive to be more thankful by focusing on what you currently have and stop focusing on things that you don't have. Think about the homeless, but you have a roof over your head. Regardless of how much you hate your job, be thankful that you have one. There are a lot of people who are unemployed and barely making it. Instead of complaining about your body, your looks, be thankful that you are healthy and alive. A lot of people are currently in the hospital who will do everything just to have one chance and extend their lives. Number two, find excitement and joy through the little things. What do you mean coffee with C? I don't have anything to be excited and joyful about. Everything in my life sucks. Well, my friend, just you having a life, you should be ecstatic. Be happy on the smallest things. For example, I get so excited when I wake up in the morning to get a cup of coffee. Even if it becomes a routine to me, there's nothing new about it. I do it every single day, but it still makes me happy. Another example, I find joy in walking outside. I find joy in hiking. I love seeing trees, sun, feeling the fresh air. Nothing new and extravagant. Anyone can experience this, but you see the shift in my perspective? I choose to find happiness and excitement about these things. Find happiness in the little things. This ribbon in my shirt makes me happy. Aside from social media, what else makes you happy? Even as simple as eating, reading, walking outside, playing video games, watching your favorite shows, talking to friends, spending time with family. Get excited about them. Number three is stop comparing yourself to others. Don't compare your life to others. You have no idea what their journey is all about. Because when we see something from social media, we tend to compare ourselves and lifestyle to them. The thing is, if you see something from social media about someone having a great job, you don't have any idea what they have gone through to get that job. When you see someone buying a new house, you don't have any idea what they have to give up to get that new house. When you see someone in a relationship looking so happy and you think it's a relationship goal, you do not have any idea about what's going on in closed doors. Every relationship has challenges and it's not as beautiful as it seems. When you see someone who looks so perfect and gorgeous, you don't have any idea how much time, day, and even weeks they spent to edit that picture just to look like that. Seriously, stop comparing what you see outside of you externally, especially in social media. It's not as real as you think. These are controlled content that the owner wants you to see. The only thing you should believe is yourself. You are real. Focus on you. The thing is, social media should inspire you because you get to see different things, different inspiration that you currently don't have. It should serve you to set a goal for yourself and strive to be better. Unfortunately, that is not the case most of the time, right? If social media has a bad effect on you, social media is not for you. If you have the mindset that the grass is greener on the other side, then you should keep your social media at a minimum. Let me tell you the difference between successful people and the rest of us. Successful people focus on their own grass. They water it. They invest on it. And most especially, they spend their time taking care of it. In Instead of wasting their time watching and following their neighbor's grass. Number four, let go of all the negativity around you. From your thoughts to people, keep them at a minimum. Your negative thoughts, it tells you you are not good enough. You are miserable. Everything is falling apart. 
These are just inside you. You do not need these thoughts in your head, nor do you need to flourish them. You have to cut them out now. You have to fight against it. If you find these thoughts kicking in, you need to stop them now and focus on the bright side, the negative people around you. If you find yourself unhappy because of too much drama and negativity around you, you are probably surrounded by toxic people or what I call the blood sucker people they suck the positive energy out of you and they make you feel exhausted being with them you know it makes you feel miserable and just you start doubting yourself they put you down and everything about these people is just drama gossiping and talking about others over the past years i have learned to surround myself with people who are positive and authentic these people contribute to my life and my personal growth what do i mean by this people who do not gossip and talk bad about others we talk about ideas we talk about life we share wisdom guidance and positivity with each other i warn you they are not a lot of them but they do exist and you are better off finding one instead of having 20 different friends who feed you nothing but negativity. You need to understand, they need you more than you need them. These type of people, they want something to talk about and love to feed off others' problems and drama because that makes them feel good about themselves. Focusing on others' drama and problems make them escape of their own reality so you if you do not want to be surrounded with these type of people let them go the reality is if you want to soar like an eagle you should not be surrounding yourself with turkeys if you start to do all these four steps you will see the change right away you will find happiness in whatever situation you are in keep your requests your topic comment down below i create videos every week for my coffee with c community and your topic may be next until next time